Turbo Lister. In this video, we will learn to use Turbo Lister, a free listing tool to help you upload and edit items in bulk. You don't have to list one product at a time. You can upload multiple products at once using this tool and create professional looking listings easily. This tool is very useful to sellers who have more than 50 listings. We strongly recommend that you watch the video on listing processes on ebay.in before using Turbo Lister. Turbo Lister has many features to reduce the time it takes to create and edit multiple listings. You can begin by working with the simplest features and then gradually start experimenting with more sophisticated features. Let us look at the features and benefits of Turbo Lister. You can upload up to 3000 listings to eBay with a single click. With Turbo Lister, you can create your listings on your own computer and then upload them to eBay. It simplifies the process of creating and editing listings. It enables adding photos without being connected to the internet. It helps in automatically inserting payment terms, postage and any messages you wish to include. You have to enter this information only once. It helps to schedule your listings to start whenever you wish. Once you have downloaded Turbo Lister, you do not need to remain connected to the internet while you get organized and decide how you want to list your items. You can preview the listing fees and confirm that your listings are correct before you actually upload them to eBay. Downloading and installing Turbo Lister The first step is to download the Turbo Lister application. To download the application, go to www.ebay.in. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Seller Tools. Click on Turbo Lister. Click on the Download Now link to download the Turbo Lister application. Double click on the downloaded file Setup IN and run the application. Follow the simple process to install the Turbo Lister application. You will see a Turbo Lister icon appear on your desktop. You are now ready to use Turbo Lister. Launch Turbo Lister by double clicking the Turbo Lister icon on your desktop. The following options are displayed when you first start Turbo Lister. Create a new Turbo Lister file. Choosing this option will prompt you to enter your eBay ID and then connect you to eBay. Open an existing Turbo Lister file. Unless you're already signed into eBay when you start TurboLister, this option is disabled. Explore a sample TurboLister file. This option needs no sign in and starts TurboLister so that you can gain a quick overview. To start using TurboLister, click Create a new TurboLister file. Then click on Next. Put in your user ID and click on Next. Turbo Lister will now retrieve your account information from eBay. Click on Connect Now. Click on Continue.
Finally, agree to grant access to eBay by clicking on I agree. Confirm your contact information by clicking on Next. Click on Finish. You are now ready to start using TurboLister. To create a new listing, click on the File tab. Select New and then select Item. The Create New Item window opens up. You need to fill in all the details of your item in the same way you do when you create a new listing on eBay.in website. If you have not watched the video on listing process on eBay.in, we strongly recommend that you watch it before using TurboLister. Start by giving a title to your listing. Add the subtitle. Select the appropriate category. If you want to list the item in another category, you could choose the appropriate category from the second category option. If you are selling books, movies, games or music, you can create multiple items with pre-filled item information and stock photos. Simply provide the ISBN or the UPC number to get a big head start on filling out the item description. In the details section, please provide the appropriate details should you want to list using variations. Add item specifics. Select the condition of the item from the drop-down. Add pictures by clicking on the Click to insert a picture box. You can add up to 12 pictures free of cost. Write a description about your item. Under Inventory Information, you can enter any information in the Custom Label field to identify an item. Information entered into the Custom Label field does not appear on the listing and it is not seen by potential buyers. Now choose the Selling Format. Choose the appropriate options under Listing Upgrades. Choose the appropriate shipping options. Under Payment Methods, tick PESA Pay as your payment method. Once you have filled out the necessary fields, you have a few options. You can save the item to be listed for sale or you can save the information as a template to be used later. This is where the real time savings is. Click on Save. After you save your new listing, its details appear in the Turbo Lister's main view grid. The listing is now ready to upload to eBay. By double-clicking on the item, you can open the listing in an editable format. To edit, click on the Edit button. 
make the changes and then click on save. Your changes will be saved. To upload the listing on ebay.in, select the listing and then click on Add to Upload button. On the Add to Upload pop-up, click on Go Upload. You can see your listing is being shown under Waiting to Upload section. The next step is to click on Calculate Fees. Remember, unless you first click on Calculate Fees, you will not be able to upload your item. Click on Close. Now, click on Upload All button to upload your listing on eBay. Now that you have uploaded one listing on eBay using Turbo Lister, the same template can be used to upload other items. Select the listing and then go to Export Selected Items under the File menu. Select Turbo Lister Format CSV file as the option and click on Export. You will be asked to choose the file name and the location where you would like to save the file. Give the file a name, for example, T-shirt template and choose the desktop as the location to save the file. Remember, the Save As type should be CSV format. Then click on Save. The file has been saved on your desktop. You can open the file by double-clicking on the file. You will observe that a template has been created in the file capturing all details you had filled in while creating your listing. If you now want to create another listing for another item, for example, men's jeans, all you need to do is make a few changes in the template and your new listing will be ready. Let us see how this can be done. First, Copy the entire listing in row 2 to row 3. Now, go to cell D3 and change the title of your listing. For example, your new title could be Solid Color Narrow Fit Jeans for Men. Similarly, go to cell G3 and change the subtitle. Next, go to cell I3 and change the category code. If you are creating a listing for another item in the same category, for example, another T-shirt, then the category will remain the same. If you want to create a listing for an item that comes under another category, you will have to create the listing under the appropriate category. To find the appropriate category code, please send a mail to sellercare at ebay.com. Next, go to cell P3 and change the item price. Next, go to cell AF3 and change the item description. Next, we will upload the pictures of the new item. Go to cell AH3. You will be required to provide your URL on the picture that you would like to upload. You can use websites like Photobucket or Dropbox to upload your pictures and get the URL. Let us see how to get the URL for the picture to be uploaded using Photobucket. 
you will first need to register on photo bucket and get yourself a photo bucket account once you have done so go to photo bucket home page click on upload click on choose photos and videos and select the pictures from the destination folder your picture has been uploaded on photo bucket now to get the url click on library you will find that a url for your uploaded picture has been created you can now copy this url and paste it in cell a h3 if you want to upload more than one pictures for your item you will have to upload each picture separately on photo bucket and get a separate url for each picture paste each url in the same cell separated by a vertical bar next go to cells h e 3 to h h 3 and make the necessary changes in the item specifics remember if there is any other change that you wish to make in your new listing you will need to make the relevant change for example if the item condition is not new but used a corresponding change will need to be made in cell f3 similarly if you want to make any changes in the shipping policy you will need to make the relevant changes once all the changes are done save the file let us now see how you can upload the new item that you created on csv file on ebay go to file select import items and choose from file from the menu select the csv file from your desktop and click on open you will get a confirmation about the item getting imported successfully click close as explained earlier all you need to do now to upload your listing on ebay is to click on add to upload click on calculate fees and then click on upload all your listing will be uploaded on the ebay site through turbo lister you can access more than one ebay accounts you do not need to download it separately for each account frequently synchronize your listings in turbo lister with your listings on ebay To ensure that your listings posted on eBay stay up to date, always synchronize before downloading from and uploading to eBay. Make sure you have all the information and the picture URL ready with you before you start creating a new listing using TurboLister. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Watch other training videos on our YouTube channel.